opened it out easy up against Paper Rex, but now they face Ascend. A matchup, no doubt, will remember. And Buzz is already starting it off, kicking it off with a push straight down a long and an opening yourself. Yeah, and they're not stopping. They're going to continue to push all the way through. Seen it in for a nasty surprise, and he's already removed from the round. The rest of the players on Ascend are going to quickly try and switch up into B. The King has already spotted them. Yeah, he's backing off, though, not wanting to take this fight all by his lonesome, but now they start to barrel towards Zeke, watching the flank, grabs himself one, but only one. They need to deal with King here so they can't be split in when this plant comes through. With 50 seconds on the clock, they'll be blocked out by Utility, taken down by Headshot, and it's only Starzo left alive to try desperately to clutch out this round. He can't even land the final shot to Buzz. And as they come down long, King is tucked in the corner, waiting for an opportunity. There's the flash, but Seek, full blind, still able to walk away with the kill, turning just in time. And head into B. Yeah, when you look at Korean blade storms, they can be dangerous. Buzz is primed and ready to use this one up, sneaking into the site. First kill goes his way, but Killez deals with him nicely. Mako making a lot of noise. Killez is just having a field day on this site. The weaker weapons getting practically nothing done. And in the end, it will be on what the other maps could be. Uh, or what the lineup, sorry, for the other maps could be. Buzz got caught out, but luckily, he's going to be able to bail. The fault line oh, didn't work, and there's Cena taking him down. A little bit more of a problem. Now, RB has retrieved it. The paranoia is going to leave him completely blind as they go pushing in off the what? back of the blaze. <laughs> Zeke's actually killed Bone Cold. I don't think I've ever seen a kill with that before. Now, RB has picked up three. A complete shutdown. A slip up. Bolo hold this, hold this side of the map. So Vasen quickly make the adaptation. They're moving towards Garage, finding the opening kill. King towards the backside gets challenged on range, taken down. You're even going to get the run it back thrown through just to confirm it. Poke them up a little bit more. Damage up star uh, stacks. At this point, Ascend have it all to play with. This is a save out of Vision Strikers. In fact, very, very difficult to play against, especially on the defensive side. Opening picks now. Buzz, Buzz was so quick at turning away from that flash. This high sense, maybe. Uh, not high enough, I guess. Not able to escape from Zeke there again. Another opening for him, Mitch. And they're going into B. They're rushing on in. King can't catch them on the cross either, but luckily... Oh, they're going to be going all the way through. Never mind. They're just rushing them down. The lockdown comes into play. They'll have to run away, and they might not all make it, but the reality is... Oh, it's, oh look at that timing. Rolling Thunder committed, too, and it saves the life of RB. Stacks... Able to survive as well, and it's clean as can be on the retake. Visions on, so you're going to be looking at a flash out of Starzo, and they'll immediately have to push out to take the control. But elsewhere, Mako is trying to seize some of his own. Buzz has gone down. A great back shot by Bone Cold. Now they need Mako to find that space, but he's spotted by the Killjoy turret. They know where he is, but he's still good for one as he fades on back. Then using the same kind of counter utility they did previously, but it's still a fake. They're just baiting them out and moving back towards this A site. Zeke again. I, he's found so much space for this squad so far. He's been the difference maker in the left. rounds. The Ascend have managed to win, but Stax quickly trades him out. And now it comes down to just these two players trying to get rid of Stax. He's going to peek into c and well, not many survived that. Oh, wow. c going right into King afterwards, and Mako is... It's just been the space that they've given up otherwise. So it's like, in this round, for example, Again, mid control seems to be the end of the game for a send off E though. This is what I mean. They've been shutting down a lot of these early pushes, these attempts to TP across, and there's always a reaction from Ascend. This time, they've already got some B control. One down. King, great kill on Zeke. I mean, every single avenue of approach that Ascend are going for is just being shut down. One by one, they peak, and one by one, they fall. Vision Strikers still with the full squad left alive, playing contact on the turret. There were two peeking in towards Garage, and they'll do it again. A flawless round coming out of Vision Strikers. What a way to get right. Game is back online. Technical pause has disappeared, and so has Cena. Oh. Pop down the ulti. This is thought. actually going to be interesting as well, because... Uh, for the side of Ascend, they wanted a fight. Like, they, they've used so many ultimates that are meant for almost just clearing out a lot of these angles. They had the Phoenix ult as well to run it back to try and find some of these players. Now they've got nothing they can really do here other than back off. This is going to be a really hard hold from them. They need a smoke here. They need a smoke to cross over and it's on its way. Okay, there it is in play. The lockdown though, going to catch them. Starzo wants to go uh -oh. out with one last hurrah. And sure, they'll take him down, but he did damage the rest of his team. Sadly, not in the same boat with Killez left alive all by his lonesome. They are defusing as we speak. And 
even though he got a headshot on the RB. It's a 145. The man survived. A lot of trouble. Now, that Cloudburst still gives away that they're going to come towards here. And this is where the util usually comes in. But King just sprays away and saves the day for them. With only Starzo left, chances of this round going their way. Oh. A deep smoke, allowing the A long control, and a breach flash was ready to take them out into mid. But Stax goes down. Mako isn't giving up there, though. He's staying inside his own smoke. This should be a one and done position. Oh, no! Mako walked right past him, and Mako even gets out of there. Absolutely ludicrous as the kills are trained. Dramatis of B being held by multiple angles to peek for Mako. Maybe a little bit risky. It's given them a way back into this round. Yeah, Mako's definitely been playing a lot more aggressive than you expect out of an Astro, but he had no stars left. Buzz flashed up on the backside. He's been spotted, but still good for a kill. The cloud burst won't save him this time. His teammate King coming in though after a multiple, a multitude rather, of sick rounds out of this guy. He's good for two already, just about around the corner. Starzo had an opportunity to isolate the 1v1, yet another, but it doesn't go his way. And now they'll look to group up and take this together after the lockdown. He's going to be forced into a fight, but he's won it. Hiding on the backside with 50 health left the time still pretty high on this one the king has got a lot of room to play with here there's only two positions he could be in and he's rightly guessed that it's towards the backside star zone now needs to move towards the side and there's the kill the red bull we've seen it time and time again you put starzo in a clutch and he will win it and a huge be making some closer range more aggressive plays that's exactly what he's doing down on short 55 seconds are actually going to TP into the back of sight. I don't think they've seen him. He's still here, but they managed to kill him off anyway, and then Buzz turns around and manages to get three kills from it. That's a late love from Killers, but Mitch, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. They waste all that time just waiting for this player to come up behind it. Oh, waste isn't necessarily the right word because they're... they're such a fantastic team to watch play, and we saw the deep strap up this time on the attack side, though. They're going to be caught out, but maybe not. A trade back, at least making the best of a bad scenario. Uh, CNED goes pushing deep. There is absolutely no way they expect him to be in this corner. No, none at all. A free kill to RB, but now they can double swing in and take the trade. Obviously, Bone Cold used his paranoia in the early round, but he's distracting on the site. He's making them think that he's the only one holding it down, so they don't spot that there's a guy in the corner. Starzo eventually, though, does get dropped. Ten seconds on the clock. Bone Cold playing with time. He's able to get one and both. Another one way. Oh no, it's just a clean smoke coming through. Bone Cold gonna be flashing out on long, but RB's crept around that right side. He's gonna be good uh, for a double, a collateral, in fact, out of the classic. Mako even picks up one. It's now a 1v2 around that Vision Striker should never have had a chance in. And suddenly, they even have a weapon to work with. Mako running a little bit low on ammunition in the corner. They know exactly where he is. Starzo just wants to bait him in, allow CNET to get that flank in play. And up on top he goes, uh, but Mako almost gets away with it. What an incredible... They're now good to just pop this plant down and play the posties. And they've got a little bit to work with. I mean, their utility isn't going to be fan fantastic, but they're starting to get pretty close to ultimates on that Vision Striker side. Ascend are going to need to make or tread with caution on the way back in. Yeah, for sure. And they, they don't really have any ground to play with Buzz or any kicking it off with a double. RB, this round is over. They're just shutting it down completely. Not a sing. They convincing round out of Vision Strikers. Oh, oh they no. know where he is and everything. <laughs> Flash, but he's still stunned up. There was nothing he could do. It just depends actually how far away King's actually going to be. They might oh, be able to move him past him, and it doesn't even matter. They're just going to rolling thunder straight into the site, and already two players just stunned at the back. But they're going to be able to survive. Zeke already dropped from his ultimate. The push through from Buzz again. Just going to double up with the headshots. He's been truly unstoppable, and again, it comes down to a retake, but that's an important pick. The spike gets planted, though, just before the frag comes through. Buzz playing up close. He does doesn't want to run through that fire just yet. Mako actually spotted them as he comes on through. Zeke is shut down quickly. A nasty crossfire for these players. Using that cosmic divide perfectly. In comes the blade storm from CNET. He's trying to use the op and find absolutely any way. Probably sat backstage just wishing he could start his own watch party just so he could bring Ryder of Lakia to potentially come in at any time and yeah. change things up, but they don't need it. And this is what Oh my god, Buzz! <laughs> Give them some space, man. This is like a last rails right now, and you can see exactly why. Two players in. 
Not already. Buzz has found enough oh. of the stun onto the set. Hand him with the individual skill. Bone cold. Oh, oh, come oh, on! Yeah. Come on! There is no way he's just 180 in just a matter of seconds. Timing could have be worse. C then. All right. That was, that was a nice shot, but have you got four more? Oh, he's got at least two. Let's see how many more C Ned can find. Of oh, course! No. Oh, what? what was that shot, C Ned? Three kills, but the round might be beyond salvage. He'd have to find more so damn quickly. And as that spike ticks away, he has no information, no idea where the players on the other side could possibly be. The word save might be floating around in his brain. He takes his knife out at just the wrong. Helped them a little bit, but ultimately this round came down to killers. Back of the site, basically had to get a multi-frag here, and it was this guy. I think the paranoia was really well-timed, yeah. but even still, he has to hit that shot, otherwise it could very easily have fallen apart. Yeah, those paranoias had a bone cold down there on long. What they might not expect is King to be AFK and spawn. Yeah, he's just been chilling. Maybe walked off for a little bit, went to the bathroom, came back and found that he's got a few players pushing in his direction. The oh, fact the is, though, they've well. actually been pushed out by the ultimate, but now they could almost fight this flank together. I think the ult's almost played into the hands of Vision Strikers, and now there are only three remain for Ascend. Oh, they had that plan right from the start. Gorgeous to witness. Now a smoke... Or no, rather a pole gonna go down. Buzz able to oh, eliminate oh. CNED. Rolling Thunder denies up. the defuse. And in they go. Buzz cleanly taking down one. They know exactly where Killez is. And he will be. And luckily, we're seeing the more traditional comms. Your sages, for example, 10 side. Now, as they push through the wall, that's where the damage should be done. But Zeke falls. 10 seconds left. The plant needs to come in. And with those two kills for King. The plant will come in. Yeah, it seems like his form isn't stopping, even with only seconds left on the clock. They get the plant, and now it's left all onto Bone Cold and Stars. I almost feel like this just becomes a, an attempt to try and farm up some. Oh! Letty burns a couple of kills like that! A nice attempt from Bone Cold, but Starzo, it just needs to be a little bit cleaner if he's going to have a way back into this one, not finding any of the frags. And Mako is there to give Vision Strikers another pistol. Well, that was uh, a little bit on its show, mm -hmm. and you're going to get sprayed down. Now, for now, we're going to see the oh. drop put through, but they're going to pressure on to kill as the timing couldn't be any worse. No one left to defend him. And now they're going to make that split through from behind. This ultimate becomes so much less valuable. Bone Cold almost has to try and get a little bit more aggressive, and he's already been shut down. There's only two players left, Mitch, for Ascend, and this round is falling apart. Well, Cnet at least has good timing, but he's oh, spotted no. out and taken down. To look at this as normally one of the bonus rounds, the round we almost guarantee over to the other side and this map and by the looks of it in this one too yeah and he won 40 percent of the total open else at about one so yeah it's been a rough one and for cned it's not getting any better so far shut down again it's rb to go vision strikers again should be walking out cleanly but the trouble man is going to be bone cold Based on what we've seen so far, he's taken down immediately on range, and that round wow. ends a lot closer than they were online. I don't think they were doing it there. That is an aggressive push out of Zeke, something we'll see from a lot of Reigners when it comes yeah. down to that A defense, but this time he runs right into King. Quite a bit of utility for these after plants. The shock darts available. Of course, the nano swarms also in for Killjoy. And that's not even talking about Viper. So this becomes a very scary prospect. And again, we're going to need to see a very quick kill for Ascend if they're even going to have a chance in this round. The evolution of plant spots has been quite interesting. And we'll talk about that in a moment. For now, let's glance at the retake from Ascend because it could be over pretty quickly. Kill us. Taken down right away. Nano Swarm's used up just to keep them back a moment longer. CNET wants an opportunity. Starzo gets done trying to use his own util. And, well, this round's already done and dusted. CNET might not even be able to get out of here alive. Stax takes out the pistol at the wrong moment, but Buzz is up above. Hero, this, I, I don't think EMEA should be shedding a tear because we need more regions to step up and be the kings or at least challenge them. And here, Buzz is yet again finding opening tools. He might not find the first one, but he trades it back and finds the back sight, allowing a clean plant out of Vision Strikers yet again, this time with a Viper's Pit to play inside. Oh, he's missed them. Oh, no, all the knives have gone. It's just a classic scene. I don't know how he's still alive. I'll be honest. He's oh, actually going to get a kill, and a Shock Dot's found another. This is not the round that should be going the way of Ascend, and it's starting to get a little bit scary. Still two players standing after part utility being placed but bone cold's found another it's left all onto mako and how is that the round they take away it's pistols it's cnet dancing through the an interesting one to say the least the word 
the keyboard. It was, it was, uh, it was, it was round six, Sean. Just in case, just in case yeah. you might have forgotten. Yeah. EDS, can you guys uh, clip round yeah, six yeah. for Sean? Set that one yep. up for him. No problem at all. Uh, wow, here we go. Immediate aggression coming out of Vision Striker. That was short lived. <laughs> I've got all the control over Kitchen. I mean, CNET's going to have to go huge over here, and he's even potentially going to get spotted out by that drone. So much for them to still try and get through this faster take has made it incredibly awkward. Buzz and then they'll have a crossfire nice. ready. He's going to peek to make sure his teammate is safe. And they're just not winning any of these duels at the moment. Buzz not quite connecting this time, but I, it doesn't even matter. A Last five versus two. Seen it not even getting a chance to shoot off a bullet. And when he finally does, he's going to try and escape. And there's already a player behind him, Mitch. Dead as can be. King takes Mitch. There are currently four players here. Yeah, because of that push-up that CNED made, they were able to rotate in. And with the weaker weapons, of course, you're going to take those risks. Double openings already found. Z going out for more and finding it. Buzz is out of the round. Dealt with at long last. It's been a while since we've seen anyone on Ascend step it up outside of Bone Cold. And now another hero is needed. Zeke, luckily, seems to be that one. Four kills okay. with the Guardian. Yeah, we, we have to hope at this stage. Oh, it's going to be the dash across. And while Zeke does at least get one, it's not the trade he would have wanted. No chance to dismiss away. And in fact, they're going to have covered off the spam through. Not quite going to kill a Mako. He's surviving incredibly low on HP. And they're not going to be able to take anyone out. In fact, most of the team are actually very low on the other side, so there's a good opportunity here for Ascend, even though they're a man down. Now here comes the Hunter's Fury. The Shock Dart landing onto Buzz, though, is a big, big blow. RB not finding anything with it, and now the Diffuse starts to come on through. But again, the utility comes in. We've seen Nano Swarms. We've seen Snake Fights. Now we need to see fights. And CNED is taking them, but he runs out of teammates. Uh -oh. Trying to get up on top of Yellow. Make it away from these guys and get the final halfway to fuse. But they land the shot. Mentality. His aggression hasn't been too successful. But this time he's going to drop the spike. A catch from CNED in middle. He's starting to come into it. Oh! This is what this man does best. Three kills to shut this round down. They really... Really needed this one, and it is a pro these range duels yet again. But seems like Vision Strikers are biding their time, and there's the Blade Storm pot. 50 health left over on CNED, but luckily Zeke comes through to help out. He will be shut down. The operator of CNED cautious about repeaking until he gets that heal on up. One blade from the Blade Storm would have been enough to take him down, and in fact, one shot from the Phantom will. But Killers is turning up. Only one left alive, and he's in the corner. Mako spotted out. Killez not going to be able to take him down. But it's a delay strategy. But they're moving elsewhere, moving in towards CNED, who's on the site, taking down one, re-aggressing back out. No dash available, but he has got the Blade Storm, and that's exactly what he's using. A 2v5 ascend, looking to close it out with five, and CNED, he gets all four. Seven to five. Oh, yeah, these guys are looking to just fight ascend. They're like, oh, you want to use our tricks? No problem, but Mako takes down two a quick double kill for him that puts vision oh! 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 a wall bang out of king and he keeps on looking for it trying to stop that plant and doing a damn good job but the drop down means he gets eliminated kill is on 50 hp will be dealt with just in time that's here at specters for the most part but they have got numbers stacked up on the site cnet able to take the opening zeke healing up off of it and buzz will just back out but rb still Full. Eight stacks to go huge up behind, and he'll be caught by Bone Cold. Bone Cold catches the shark in the flank. And Mako, he might actually just save this. MHP pull through. Three kills really isn't too bad in a round like this, and especially information for Ascend. And they're trying to lurk through with Bone Cold, destroying out the Killjoy alarm bot, but there's no re-aggression on the back of it. Vision Strikers fall back. They're looking to actually support this site and just play a heavy lurk inside of middle. Good opening pick by RP. Oh, How has he gotten yeah. two from there? That's the spike down as well. They know that this is a hit, and Zeke can't really do anything to get over, or can he get, th I don't think he can get around that wall, though. No. He's oh, he spotted <laughs> <laughs> not gonna get anything here. Now we are gonna oh. see. I'm oh, gonna say the Viper's pit, but it only lasts for a second. Two kills coming through, and Zeke's the only one left. This is what Vision Strikers have been doing throughout the game. We finally see a victory for oh. Ascend, and then it's a practice. It's the right call to fall back here. You don't really want to give these pistols the opportunity for close range fights. Stax is gonna be taken down. Already good damage from Ascend as they close in on the site for the plant. Their numbers start to thin out. CNET pulls the Blade Storm, and now this gets a whole lot more dangerous.
dangerous for the side of Vision. But instead, he has to gamble and try to find out where Zeke is. He finds the Viper's Pit. Stax is coming through. Does he spot Star Zone? No, he doesn't. Not in time. The drone forces Ma Mako out, and now he's been spotted. He's just going to be completely dove upon CNET. Shuts down RB's ulti. Mako no longer has the ult behind him, but hey, he's dead before it even falls. This is a disaster of a round for Vision Strikers. They need a big clutch, and it's King coming in with a double, looking for more, and somehow avoiding death. 70 HP left. Turret goes down, and he wants the off. But two opponents to take down. And yeah, the Phantom might be the better choice. But it doesn't split. They know it's a B hit, but they still need to deal with it. Vision Strikers doing a great job, though. Stacks and Mako up close. He barely misses that shot. But Stacks is doing all the damage. Three kills. Rez online. And Ascend starting to struggle. They've eventually dealt with that Sage. Timing works out well for him. As he's now One just tucked in, remaining. and they have no idea. And well, Kill as gets shut down anyways. Not gonna absolutely everybody's fighting for that on the international Whoa. scene. What a great opening for Buzz. Comes through, they need something else to rely on, and it's gonna be the Viper's Pit. They'll get themselves into a decent afterplant spot, hopefully for Bone Cold this time. He's not gonna be picked out within seconds. Rez still available for stack, so he could bring back RB, but I believe. Well, oh, it's gonna happen right now, giving them that man advantage once again, and this is probably the worst ultimate that could be in play right now for Ascend. Good counter though, they have the Hunter's Fury, they were ready to use it, the flank comes in a little bit late, Zeke was on low HP and dealt with, good shot by Buzz, but he has to go inside this ulti, and that's where Bone Cole can thrive, two on the board, he needs two more, and Stax will sideswipe it to close, 12 to 9. The more interested to see how it's going on the side. Choke point, and it is going to be tough, unless they deal with Stax right away, he could be the one to pretty much close this one out right away, but he's oh, going to be no. spotted, a Great dash, a great reaction, and now an opportunity for Ascend to crunch in on the B site. They've got 15 seconds though. They have to pretty much run all the way. If the plant is denied at this stage, it could pretty much be game oh! over. Ascend's gonna get dropped, and now it's all just on to one or two players.